The Pelagic Prehistory mod introduces new creatures and ancient plants into Minecraft. The animals must be created through locating fossils and processing them to achieve DNA, which can be used to resurrect them. So, let's begin. To get started with resurrecting the creatures, you will need two machines. The first is the analyzer and the second is the infuser. To begin the process, ancient sediment fossils must be found, which can be located in every ocean biome. Once the fossil is harvested, it must be placed into the analyzer, which will then output a random DNA vial. This vial will have a description saying that it must be combined with a particular item in the infuser. The infuser will then output a plant, egg or a pup, which can then be placed into water and they will hatch into a fully grown version of themselves. If the animal dies, it will drop itself so you can replace it really easily. There are three plants available, two of which can only survive underwater and those are the green sea sponge and the charnia. The third is a sapling which can be placed on dirt called the ginkgo tree. The first animal is the cuttlefish. This is a small octopus-like fish that has 10 HP. He just kind of floats around like a chill little guy and he's completely passive. The next is the Henodus, which is essentially just an ancient turtle and it has 20 HP. It's also passive. The Lepidotes is a fish which prefers to linger at the bottom of the ocean and it has 6 HP. The Cladosa Lache, I think is how you say it, is another fish mob and it has a very similar appearance to a tiger shark in the real world. It is neutral and it will attack if it is hurt. It has 6 HP. The Dunkleostice is a pretty ugly fish, I'm not gonna lie. It is neutral and it will attack if you attack it first and it has 19 HP. The Dugong is a small walrus-like creature. It's passive and it has 20 HP. The Plesiosaurus is a passive, colorful, long-necked dinosaur that can occasionally leap up out of the water. It has 20 HP. The Bawitius is a neutral, fierce-looking creature that will most definitely bite back when it is attacked, so it is neutral. The Pliosaurus is a large dinosaur that reminds me of a Mosasaurus, but there's probably some difference between the two, I'm not sure. It's neutral and it will attack back when it is hurt. It has 80 HP. The Irritator is an amphibious dinosaur. It's very mobile in both water and land, and it is immediately hostile. It has 20 HP. The Prognathon resembles an orca and it is immediately hostile. It's a very fast swimmer and deals a lot of damage, so approach it with caution. It has 80 HP. The largest of the creatures is the mighty Shonisaurus. It's very slow and it's completely passive. It has 80 HP. And that will do it for the Pelagic Prehistory mod. It's a really neat little mod for anyone who's interested in like paleontology or just those who enjoy mods that bring some more mobs into the game. The mod, as always, is available to download down in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.